guys, it's me, Lucian the Weirdo with the Beardo here, back on the YouTube channel for another fun video, and I gotta say, I've got a gem for you this time. Today, we're talking blood drive. As previously stated, this is a gem. One of those things you don't really find too often, but once you do, you don't want to get rid of it. It's a TV show on sci-fi that came out in 2017 titled Blood Drive, and let's get a little preview as to what we're talking about. In the distant future of 1999, a global fuel shortage has ravaged civilization. Nice ride. But instead of going green... Have you seen the engine? We went red. Cars run on human blood. Have you seen gas prices lately? Midnight Grindhouse presents Blood Drive, a twisted new series, almost too depraved for cable TV, where a violent vixen and a Ken doll cop compete against psychos in a deadly race for the. No one cares about story. We told you that. Yes. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Blood Drive, where every week promises a new Grindhouse inspiration. Cannibals. Keep them coming, daddy. Monsters. Cults. Lawmen. Nymphos. And Amazons. Why are hot girls always so mean? First, you'll question your eyes, then your sanity. My God, it's disgusting! Gentlemen, ladies, lunatics. Racist to your mark! Speed. Your. Engines. Blood Drive. Good show. Love the ending. So yeah, that's Blood Drive. Uh, pretty high octane, pretty fucking crazy. And you might have seen some familiar faces. Now, this was brought to Sci-Fi in 2017 from creator James Rowland. And if you don't know the name, you might know he's responsible for the movie Risk Cutters and also for the Purge 2019 TV show that came out. So he's got a couple cool things that he's done so far, kind of in that same brutal landscape, that metal landscape. And I've got to say, this is one of the most metal TV shows I've ever seen in my life. As previously stated in that video, it takes place in a dystopian 1999. So it's kind of fun to see a little bit of a throwback and it makes the technology they use that much crazier, honestly. Um, it's a cross country race where you have to feed people into your car to fuel your car on blood. Uh, it's very death race. If you've ever seen death race and you liked that movie, I think you would love blood drive even more than death race. To be honest, like can't give it any higher, uh, review than that. I guess, uh, Alan Rickson from, um, blue mountain state is the Ken doll cop and Christina Ochoa is the violent vixen. Uh, she plays grace and their chemistry is one of the great things about this show it really makes it fun to watch um, from the unlikely duo kind of thing to an actual love story, which is pretty cool to watch uh, unfold throughout all of these different episodes. There's, I believe, don't quote me, but I believe there's only 13 episodes of this show out. Um, and like I said, I got it on YouTube um, pretty much right when it came out and was so sad to hear it didn't get picked up for a second season, but it does that fun thing that some shows do where they bring the real life and they put it in the show. So there's a lot of like fun moments with the creator of Blood Drive fighting back against corporate, and you kind of feel like that was them poking fun at the people that were canceling them. So it's, it's fun in that regard, and it's just got so much crazy shit. Like, I... I've never seen a show this balls to the wall and unafraid. And I mean, the promotional campaign for this show when it came out was hilarious. There was like, here's what we're allowed to show you. Here's what the censors say we can show you. And it's like three things. And it just kind of shows you that this show isn't afraid to do whatever the fuck it wants. And it doesn't care. And dude, I love it. It's, it's like for everybody that's a fan of twisted metal, twisted metal, excuse me. Ugh. Or Ash versus Evil, Ash versus Evil Dead. That's how you say it. If you're into any of those kind of shows, that hokey sci-fi stuff, but it's it's better than you know, Bear Shark, 
versus alligator spider or whatever sci-fi puts on like it's so much fun and sci-fi was the perfect home for this i'm so sad it didn't take off for a season two they had it set up to be blood island for season two there's a whole storyline with what happens with the main character uh, and I mean everything from cannibals to monsters to cults to nymphos to Amazonians like this show kind of had it all and I'm a huge fan of world building I'm a huge fan of like movies like the warriors where there's like a, a group for every single thing um, anything that's 80s anything that's grindhouse anything that's gory I love and this hits all of it. It's a midnight, uh, midnight Grindhouse production, and I believe it's the only thing I can find on Midnight Grindhouse. Like, I don't think they've made anything else. I know there's some Grindhouse comic books, and of course, there's the Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez Grindhouse double feature. But I, this is kind of the only thing that I could find that's actually legitimately made by a Grindhouse Productions. Um, dude, I can't. I can, I cannot honestly talk this show up enough like there's so many aspects to it that keep you entertained and by the end of the show you are depressed because you're like there's no more of this but some of the characters in this show have actually inspired me to make my own characters in life uh there's a character in here played by colin cunningham my notes are saying adrian slink is the character and he's a very slimy very polished very all these weird I don't know. He's he's a weird character. Um and he's a showman. He's the MC of the Blood Drive. You'll see him in all the promotional material. But he is who I actually based my horror host character Dr. Ravenwood off of because I love that grandioso style of being a showman and I wanted that to kind of be my new character. So Little tidbit there, uh, I have a horror host show called Dr. Ravenwood Slasher Files. It's available on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Metal Massacre. For as low as three bucks a month, you can support the podcast, the YouTube channel, me and Dusty to do more stuff, and get some shows you won't be able to see anywhere else like Dr. Ravenwood. So, But just a little factoid that not a lot of people really know about. Adrian Slink was the 100% like roadmap for Dr. Ravenwood. Uh, this show is like i said before not afraid to push the boundaries and it does some crazy stuff uh with its story arcs too there's some pretty fun um uh, kind of apocalyptic situations that go down i mean they've got a, it seems like it's one of those shows that kind of has an episode for everything like they've got a, a a sex episode they've got an amazonian episode a cult episode like it kind of feels like world war no what's that what's that zombie let me look it up. What's that zombie show? Oh, Z Nation. Does anyone remember Z Nation? It kind of feels like that production quality where they just kept adding more and more and more. And after a while, it just became this fun universe to live in. And uh, like I kind of was hinting at before, if you're a Twisted Metal fan, if you're a Death Race fan, any of those kind of genre bending, weird hyper violent kind of shows or games interest you i think blood drive is right up your alley uh just the first episode alone was enough to sell me on it so that is like the highest compliment i can give a tv show especially one that was canceled within 13 episodes like that's pretty sad but they had something special there and i really wish blood island can get made dude like i'm gonna be dying on this fucking hill my entire life i i swear if there's someone out there that wants to make a a fan film with me or maybe some fan fiction i've been known to do fan film stuff or fan fiction stuff in the past i'd love to collaborate but blood drive did not deserve the treatment that it got from sci-fi and from whoever made those decisions like they had something truly special it was a unique concept unique delivery the whole thing was unique. Like, I can't talk it up enough. And it's just sad to me to see something like that not really get its just deserve, you know? And I don't know, man. Kind of makes me wish I could go back to 2017 and and help uh, Roland out and, and, and maybe pitch him some ideas that I'm thinking. Because there's so much stuff where you watch this and you're like, oh, my God, I want to see this in a video game. I want to see this in a movie. I want to see more of this world. And I think that's one of those things where, for me, if you're going to do world building, you got to do it right. And they totally did it right every step of the way. Um, 
it, to take someone uh, like uh, Alan Rickson from Blue Mountain State and make him a hero too it was kind of one of those fun things where it's like, oh, he can be serious. And then later on, you see him in all his big action star stuff. And it's like, it's fun because it's like, I remember when he was in Blood Drive and no one's going to know what you're talking about, you know, but totally worth it. I don't know anywhere to get Blood Drive outside of YouTube, honestly. I'm not sh sure where to buy it. I know you can get the DVD on, on Amazon still of the complete series, but season one. But I'm not sure where to actually stream it other than YouTube. I would just, if you have 25 bucks and you want to have a fun date night with the wife or the husband or the girlfriend or the boyfriend or the whatever, go just buy one episode of Blood Drive, check it out, see what you think, and then comment on this video once you do. Like, what did you think of Blood Drive? What was your favorite part? Who was your favorite character? Mine, obviously, Adrian Slink, but I want to know from you guys. So if you have seen Blood Drive, let me know in the comments what was your favorite episode and, and what do you think blood Island would have been like? I think that would have been so fucking cool, dude. Like it makes me so sad. Um, but it honestly motivates me because now don't be surprised if you see a blood Island video on our YouTube page. I mean, with all the death cast stuff we do, it's not too outside of the possibility realm that we might do something like that, but I don't know. Um, Blood Drive is one of those shows that came to me when I kind of needed it. Uh, very therapeutic show, very fun, and it's everything I like. It's it's the perfect combination of that Mad Max death race, uh, kind of crazy Thunderdome world where everything's high stakes and everyone's a crazy asshole. So if you're into that, if you're into that kind of high octane, crazy adrenaline fueled stuff, and you want something with a little gore, a little grit. And, you know, a lot of fun. Please go check out Blood Drive and let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, we only did more YouTube videos, just topic aside, because you guys wanted it in our Discord. We have a poll in there as far as what we want to do next. The next thing that they wanted me to do was a metal movie review. But, I, you know, I said Blood Drive is something that's important and I got to get it out of the way first. So that was kind of my motivation was I'm going to talk about Blood Drive I'm going to get this video out and just geek out about another fucking metal thing that I love because we are the Metal Massacre and share with you something that got me through a dark time in life and also is something that I always come back to. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I'm one of those guys that like I'll find something and then I'll always come back to it. And I'll if it's it's like a comfort thing for me, how some people have comfort food and comfort music. I have comfort media. And this is totally one of my comfort medias is Blood Drive. So please go check it out. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really supports us. I really, really appreciate that. Quick shout out to our sponsor, Big Dobbs Beard Balm. Go to bigdobsbeardbalm.com slash buy and use our promo code METAL for 20% off your entire fucking order. That's a really good deal. Big Dobbs is an Omaha-based beard enthusiast and tattoo enthusiast who decided you know what i'm sick of all this over manufactured high price garbage i want to make some all natural stuff for my bearded brethren who happen to have tattoos too because guess what he's got a tattoo balm as well keeps those tats looking shiny fresh and it revitalizes the skin so go check out big beard <laughs> big dobs beard balm.com and go use promo code METAL for 20% off. Thank you guys for checking out this YouTube video. Not not too long. We're kind of keeping these ones short, these little metal geek out moments. Um, but I really, again, just want to praise Blood Drive and everything this show has done, dude. It has been a cornerstone of my aesthetic since 2017. And if you're like me, I think you'll love it. So go check it out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for keeping it metal.